Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. We're back on Elma, Missouri here. And we are just finishing up, picking up our bales. And we are going, I think we're going to drop these off right over here. And we'll probably put them in the shed, or we might just leave them out here for the time being. Just because we'll probably go through those pretty quickly. So we'll get this turned around here. Make sure we're not going to pick up these bales again. And I think we'll leave the trailer right here. I need to buy a fork so we can feed the cows. Because as you can see, if we look at our cow menu here, there are no... The uh, beef cows don't have any food and our dairy cows don't have any food. So... Until we get silage made up, I think we're just going to feed them straight hay. I think that'll be pretty good for now. Um, I know the beef cows will probably just get silage. And then we'll probably get a mixer or something for uh, the, other, the dairy cows. So We will go in here. We will find our front loader tools. We'll grab... Uh, this one right here, that's standard. Uh, what do we got for options? Yeah, just standard's good. That was... My HUD's turned off again. $500 for that. That's not bad. Alright, we will hook up to this. We'll see how much one bale is going to do for us. And then we also have to plant our wheat today, so. We'll take this. I did not grab that bale very well. Yikes. Alright. Let's get this. Put in the ring here. Now, there is a water trough in this pasture, but I don't know if it, it doesn't say it takes water in here, so I wouldn't expect them to have or to take water. I might throw another bale in there because I didn't fill them up very much. We're going to pick them up like this. Oh, boy. Made that one roll. I feel like this Kubota is a very nice small tractor for doing this with. Sorry about that. I had to take a drink. Alright, we'll put this in here. Like so, that should be good enough for them for a couple days. We'll check on them in the morning and we'll see. We'll see how they're looking. Alright, let's grab a bale. We'll take it over to the dairy cows. Just so they have something to munch on. This isn't going to be a permanent. This is how we're going to feed them all the time. This is just going to be permanent. Or, well, not permanent. It's not going to be permanent. We're just going to do this for the time being. Until we get an actual feed mixer and are able to get silage. And hay mixed together to create total mixed ration. We'll grab this here. Take this on over to the barn. Figured two bales should be good to start everyone off with. Did that really fill them up? No, it didn't. I must have not put it close enough. There we go. Alright, so that should be good for them. We will, I think we'll park this tractor just in here. Along with the mower and stuff, because we'll need it for getting bales out this winter. 
hopefully next month we'll be able to mow that other field over there and get some more stuff. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to run in a shop here. We're going to grab the 8345R. I did learn the number. It is an 80, in fact, an 8370R. I thought I learned the number, but I guess not. It's an 8370, not an 8345. But anyways, we're going to grab this tractor. We're going to go over here. We're going to hook up to the cedar. And I'll probably buy some seed and have it delivered to the farm. We could put down one of those... Um, one of those production things that... Uh, you know, you can just back under and it fills it up. We might actually do that. I think we'll do that. We'll take it here. I have this new zoom feature on here and it's not very effective. I mean, it helped me zoom out more, but it's so fast. Okay, uh, let's go here to containers. I might not even have it in here. Oh no, I don't have it in here. Well, we're gonna have to add that. So, for now, I think we'll just buy seeds and have them delivered to the farm. Uh, let's go, should we go pallets or big bags? I think we'll do bags of this. We'll do four bags. We'll see where that gets us. Because we are a little tight on money, so. It's a good thing this wheat will be going in, though. It'll give us a little bit of extra cash. And we can always sell some bales if we need to. But I'd rather keep all the bales for our cows. So they have something to eat. Gotta move closer, apparently. Apparently it doesn't take it from right there. Okay. Quite a full cedar, I think. Should be good. Um, we are going to... Let's see. So, if we look at our map here, we have our fields here. I think we're going to do 39, might be turned into a grass field. And then we, I think we're going to do wheat in 35 over here. I think that'll be a good field for wheat. And then 38 and 40 will be left alone for crops for next year in the springtime. Um, we'll probably do corn in probably both of these and one... We'll probably chop half of 40 and then harvest the rest of 40. So we'll have some. I need to install some uh, harvester silos, which I was planning on putting right next to the cow barn here. And then have the uh, spout that comes off of it go through the wall here so that I could fill my mixer up in here. But we'll have to see. I think for today's episode, we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to go over to field 35. I always struggle with that one. But we're going to go over to field 35 and we'll get that seeded. And I don't know why I went this way. But we probably could just cut through this grass right here. So we will head on over to the field here. Run our hazards on so we're not obstructing people. Well, I mean, we are obstructing people. We have a huge tractor with a cedar on the back going down the road. I don't know how much less obstructive you could be with this thing, but... Alright, let's get it unfolded here. I think we're going to do rye, because I know there's rye on this map, so... There's peas on this map, too. I didn't know that. We have rye, peas, and alfalfa, so. I was thinking about maybe doing some alfalfa at some point. It doesn't have multi-terrain angle on this map. Well, that's kind of a bummer. But anyways. We'll get this field done, and we'll see you when we get done.
Alrighty. There we go. That is done. D U N done. We will fold that up. I'm gonna turn my hood back on. And we will get this back to the farm. And I think we are ready to move into the month of October. So we will see you when we get to the month of October. Alrighty, hello everyone and welcome to October 1. We are here and we are ready to tackle whatever the day has for us. I think today we are going to go up and check on the field, but first we got to feed the cows. Give them at least a bale. And I also got to move some more straw into the um, dairy barn. So we will get that done. I think manure has started to spawn up over here in the barn. I'm not sure. Yep, there's some manure over here. So we'll have to get like a skid steer or something as we get more into working with our cows and stuff. I'm not sure why this bale didn't. Should have automatically just dumped in here. Yeah, there we go. But anyways, we'll get, uh, let's get the tractor out and we'll give these cows some bales. Make sure if guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button and... Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of the series. We're trying to get 150 subscribers by the end of February, so... I think we can do it the rate we're going right now. I'm going to try and push out a lot of videos, and I realized that I left the gate open. But, anyways, I'm going to try and push out as many videos as I can. I think this Alma, Missouri series is going to do very well. I think a lot of people have been liking the Alma, Missouri map. I know I enjoy it. It's such a fun map to play. Um, I know my good friend over uh, on YouTube, I watch uh, Simulation Station a lot. Uh, he does. He has an episode series going on this right now. and It's an awesome, awesome YouTuber. Love Simulation Station. So shout out to you, Simulation Station, if you watch this video for uh, kind of inspiring me to do my own version of Alma, Missouri and to honestly start a YouTube channel because he's he did help me a lot when it came to starting a YouTube channel and uh, you know the kind of the format because I know he started off with time-lapse videos as well so we kind of have the same background and... alrighty so I think enough ranting on about other YouTubers um, I think that should be good for them because they don't eat it that fast, so they should be good. So we'll put this back. Actually, we'll hook up the mower. And we'll get ready to go. Alrighty, let's get this mower pulled out here. And we will head up to the field. We could honestly mow this up front here too. You know what? I think we might do that. We can honestly mow this little thing here and then we can till it up and turn it into a little tiny field. It's a very nice mower. I like this one. I think this is a good choice for us. So we'll get this done, and we'll see you in a little bit.
Alrighty, everyone. We are finishing up our last pass here for this section of our little grass part up here. And I think what we'll do is we'll turn this into a little tiny field and we'll probably just put grass in it to replace it so we can actually fertilize it and get something out of it. But uh, I'm going to finish this up over here. Um, I think this is going to be the end of the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really appreciate all the support. And make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one whenever I make it. Because you never know. I don't know what that ending was, but, you know. W Energy Drink in the description below. And check out all my other socials. We're on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all those platforms. So, have a great day, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.